Good evening and welcome to South Adams High School at the Stardome for the Blackford Bruins, a game that uh, has been rescheduled and rescheduled and then rescheduled, counter-scheduled, <laughs> flow of the moment scheduled, and now finally here, last week of the regular season, the Blackford Bruins will invade the Stardome. I'm Seth Brunger, joined by Phil Provost. Amanda Arnold is our producer. Gary Hendershot up on the camera for us tonight. As you get settled in here, we do want to remind you that we do have another contest going on this evening. We've got a game at Belmont High School this evening. Make sure that if you would like, you flip back and forth between this game and that. But uh, the big one tonight with the return of Mr. Luke Brown, young man, uh, no mystery uh, for anybody that pays attention to high school sports, especially locally here. Uh, pretty big game coming up here for the Starfires. And uh, Luke Brown has been a very difficult guy to stop uh, from the time he started. And uh, we'll see what South Adams has the ability to do here. Uh, they got a tall, uh, tall order coming up here. See who uh, Coach Hendrickson puts on and what kind of defense they institute. But uh, tonight, you got to stop number 25. He's going to have a, a target on his back, no doubt. But it'll be interesting to see, uh, obviously, to me, uh, you know, Luke Brown's going to get his points, no doubt about it. You're talking about the fifth leading scorer all time in the state of Indiana. He, he's going to get his. He's He comes in averaging uh, 31, excuse me, 32. I don't want to shortchange him, 32 points a game. He's going to get his tonight. I think the, the key for the South Adams Starfires, you got to make sure he's not going off. you got to hold him to around 30. And then uh, do a good job to make sure that uh, a couple of these other guys, whether it be, uh, uh, well, I'm not seeing their second leading scorer on the uh, the roster right now, so I'm wondering if, if maybe they lost Wars. Uh, so that's an interesting development. Wars showing up here at 11.7 per game. He's not on uh, the roster this evening. Uh, and then uh, we've also got Landon Grimes, and you've got uh, Cam Elam. So you've you got to make sure if you're the South Adams Starfires, those other guys don't be. But I tell you what, what impresses me most about Luke Brown, Seth, obviously we know his scoring ability, but the way he's able to find his teammates, you'd think a guy that scores all those points would be the kind of a guy who uh, would just want to hog the ball, control the ball. And obviously he's the ball's in his hands the lion's share of the time, but – I really believe, and I don't think I'm exaggerating, what makes him so special is his ability to find open guys in position to score. A guy that not only averages 32 points a game, but averages five assists per game yeah. as well. So Luke Brown, uh, we know he can shoot the lights out, but he's an excellent passer and creator for others as well. Facilitates very well, no question about it. We've got 37 seconds left here in the Junior Varsity Contest. South Adams trailing right now 37-32. to 32. And we just had a double dribble whistled against the Starfire, so a five-point deficit with 32.7 seconds left on the clock. We're on the Innovative Concepts pregame show at Innovative Concepts. We specialize in both residential and light commercial projects consisting of audio, video, home security, commercial surveillance, automation, lighting control, information technology systems, and more. Call 724-2276 or stop by at 1421 Manchester Street Indicator to learn more. Yeah, and these Starfires coming off of a pair of defeats here, Phil. A uh, tough loss uh, on Tuesday and another tough loss then on Saturday at Monroe Central. An overtime uh, affair on Saturday that did not go their way. We'll see, uh, you know, sometimes you get into this sort of a later to mid-late season funk, and, and right now I think South Adams – just hasn't had the offense flowing as fluently as we have seen them in the past. And tonight against a tough Blackford team, they're going to have to get it going and get it going as soon as they can. The uh, reality is you cannot start, like uh, we heard Coach Hendrickson say in the postgame last game, we can't start out spotting the opposition coming out playing right. slow. Uh, it's been a tendency of this Starfire team, and if it happens tonight, whew, you, I mean, you're going to put yourself in a very difficult situation if you have to catch up to the likes of uh, the Blackford Bruins and Luke Brown. They've got to find a way to get this going. Yeah, and Blackford, I think, uh, for all the hoopla surrounding the Bruins, uh, they do give up some points. They give up around 60 a game. And so this could be a good opportunity for the South Adams offense to get going early. I, I really liked uh, the way they play. It wasn't an excellent game, but it was a good – it was a, it was kind of, a, you know, a, a grinder out there against Monroe Central. Both teams – 
Uh, just a very competitive battle. You you mentioned they got themselves into a deficit in the first half, but I thought South Adams recovered nicely in the second, outscored them in both the third and the fourth to force overtime, and uh, just didn't quite have enough down there uh, at Monroe Central. But it was a heck of a game. I thought they recovered well after the tough loss earlier in the week to Woodland. And so uh, Blackford, you know, if Blackford wins and they are favored to do so tonight, I think uh, Harrells has them as a 12-point favorite. But they've got uh, Blackford scoring 70 points. If Blackford's victorious tonight, it's going to be because they outscore South Adams. I doubt we're going to see a low-scoring uh, kind of grinded out affair as we've seen here in the past couple of games uh, tonight. 38-32 is the score currently. A six-point advantage for the Bruins. Only 11.6 seconds left. And they get it up the floor quickly. Minger will jump past it. Three on the way. Long on that one, no good. Steiner with the rebound, he'll get it up. Fired up, backboard, no good, and that's going to do it. The Bruins knock off the Junior Varsity Starfires tonight, 38-32. to As we wrap up the Junior Varsity contest and our bonus coverage here for this Junior Varsity team, we're going to take a quick commercial break. We'll come back with more of the Innovative Concepts pregame show right after this on Witness Media. For a hometown yet extremely high quality flooring company to get your project looking the way you want, come visit CJ's Flooring to meet each of your various needs. We are focused and geared to meet your every expectation. If it goes on a floor, you can count on us to get it done. With extremely friendly customer service and commitment that can't be found anywhere else, we guarantee that your floor will be top notch in no time. Not only do we carry all the major flooring manufacturers, our installers will ensure that the job will meet every one of your wants and needs. So come down to CJ's Flooring today to see how we can make your home the envy of the neighborhood. Sure we care, because you're walking on our reputation. Sharing happiness, displaying confidence, and promoting health. Your smile does a lot for you. And at Riverstone Dental, we make smiles happen. Across two locations at Riverstone Dental, our compassionate dentists and caring staff provides unparalleled care to patients of all ages. Using the latest technology and procedures, we offer an extensive list of general dentistry services. Whether you're stopping in for your routine cleaning and checkup, or you need restorative care, including implants, crowns, bridges, and more, we'll provide quick, comfortable care. Additionally, we perform orthodontic procedures as well. With traditional metal braces or the convenient Invisalign system, we can help you perfect your beautiful smile. Riverstone Dental, we make smiles happen. Ms. Lehman Realtor Auctioneers have been serving this great community since 1960. We are here to help through all stages of life. From commercial properties to auctions, to farmland and owning your first home, we have the experience and expertise you can count on. Ms. Lehman Realtor and Auctioneers, welcome home. Do you have sports injuries, knee pain, shoulder pain, headaches, arthritis pain, or just want to maintain a healthy lifestyle? Reynolds Chiropractic is the answer. Dr. Jade utilizes gentle, low-force instrument-assisted and hands-on adjusting. Dr. Jade treats patients of all ages, from birth to the very mature. Dr. Jade will help your injuries heal faster and help you live a more active and pain-free life. They offer BioFree, Sombra, pillows, back braces, and orthomolecular supplements. Dr. Jade is currently accepting new patients, so make your appointment today and visit Reynolds Chiropractic, where patient comfort and care are our first priority. Two Brothers Bar and Restaurant invites you to enjoy their delicious food, vintage decor, and friendly service. Two Brothers resides in four buildings with original brick workmanship exposed since 1892. This family-owned eatery features a private banquet room, a family dining room, and a bar serving high-quality food and drink in a casual environment established in 1947 with original recipes. They also feature a catering menu to take care of your next dinner party. Open at 11 a.m. Monday through Saturday, the staff at Two Brothers looks forward to taking care of you like their own family. Family. Arnold Lumber at 425 Winchester Street in Decatur is a complete building center for all building contractors and do-it-yourselfers. We supply every facet of building supplies that you will need to complete your next project, but we can also help you get the work done. 
We install doors, windows, overhead doors, and roofs locally when the materials are purchased from us. We install pole barn packages all over Indiana, Ohio, and Southern Michigan, and we provide rooftop delivery with single purchases. Open 7 to 5 Monday through Friday and 7 to 12 on Saturday. Let us help you with all of your construction project needs. At Zerker's Best One, we've changed our name to Best One of Monroe. Still the same family ownership, simply a new name. Same great people, same great service, same great prices. You know who we are. We are serving customers first. We are trustworthy. We are passionate. We are committed. We are community focused. We are locally owned. We are the family you've depended on. We are Best One of Monroe. Win a set of Firestone tires from Best One Monroe. Enter at bestonemonroe.com. Passion. It's inside the barn at 5 a.m. It's dirty boots, calloused hands, and the energy to keep going. Passion is every step, again and again. Passion. It's giving it the best you've got. It's hard work that pays off. Show right. Feed your passion. Back here in the Stardome as we continue on the Innovative Concepts pregame show. At Innovative Concepts, we specialize in both residential and light commercial projects consisting of audio, video, home security, commercial surveillance, automation, lighting control, information technology systems, and much more. Call 724-2276 or stop by at 1421 Manchester Street Indicator to learn more. Phil, you've been doing some research on this basketball team, the uh, red and the black from Blackford High School tonight. And uh, some pretty interesting stats out there. Obviously, the one that glows the brightest is the uh, grand total of points scored by Luke Brown and the fact that not only can he score, but he's also a very good facilitator, takes care of uh, uh, the basketball, doesn't turn it over much, but also... Uh, his teammates have to be very aware of what's going on because if they're not aware of where he is and the fact that he has the basketball, there's a pretty good chance he might get hit in the chest with it. We've True. seen him absolutely thread the needle. It's not just a scoring threat tonight. South Adams is going to have to really uh, kind of watch those passing lanes and do everything they can to clog those up. I, I've watched this team for a few years now, and I can remember uh, a kid named Brandon Strobel the past couple of years who was the beneficiary of, of the kind of attention right. that Luke Brown draws on opposing defenses. And and I remember thinking, this kid's got the best job in high school exactly. basketball he because he can just go spot up, get get comfortable in his spot that he likes to shoot from. And he was a very good shooter. Uh, and, and just all the attention that Luke Brown draws leaves a lot of these guys wide open. And that's kind of what I was alluding to earlier is uh, for South Adams tonight, obviously the attention's going to be – uh, on number 25, but you can't fall asleep on the likes of Landon Grimes or Cam Elam. Those guys can both shoot well over 30% uh, from downtown, and they will beat you if, you if you're too heavily enamored with the likes of uh, number 25. I guess the one thing that South Adams does have going for them in terms of the uh, game before the game is just the overall size. As far as uh, the height goes uh, for the opposition, Landon Grimes – does stand six feet five. He's by far the tallest of the regulars. Uh, six two uh, for Luke Brown. Six two for Scott Winger. That's not as tall as what South Adams has in at least three or four positions. So South Adams again needs to try to utilize that size and get a little bit more, a little bit more uh, basketball hungry uh, when there's yeah. a loose ball. Get after the loose ball. Get on the floor. Get off the floor. Uh, really get after it tonight. If you can hold Blackford to just one shot, and if that shot wasn't taken by Luke Brown, maybe it didn't go in, <laughs> and, you gotta, and you can go after it. You know, I mean, when Luke Brown does fire off those great passes, if those other players miss their shots, you don't want to give them another opportunity at it. And sure. uh, limiting, the, limiting the shots that are put up by Blackford is going to be a big thing for South Adams tonight. 
And it would certainly help if the Starfires could really get out and get going early. Uh, when Warner comes out and starts knocking down some threes, when Shot can knock down some threes, when uh, Arnold can work himself uh, into a groove within the paint, and uh, Miller can can get some success going, when Gilbert can knock down a few jump shots, when it's all flowing, mm -hmm. South Adams is very, very tough to beat. But they have had a hard time getting all of it going at one time here in the last couple of games. This would be a great time to get it all resurrected and get things going, not only for the Bl uh, Blackford game here tonight, but to get themselves ready for sectional next week. Uh, they've got a pretty good draw in terms of not being on the same side as Blackhawk Christian right out of the shoot. Yeah. That certainly helps. Uh, they, they drew Canterbury. They'll play there on Tuesday night. We'll be there uh, with that action for you. But the fact of the matter is South Adams – will do themselves a big favor if they can run off a three-game win streak this week or go right there and stay toe-to-toe -to -toe right with these guys and play really, really well together. There's a difference between getting beat and losing a ball game. And South Adams has kind of gotten beat these last couple of games. If you lose, there's a difference between that. And sure. what I mean by that is – if you get beat, uh, there was something that they were doing that was just better. If you lose, boy, it was head-to-head, -head, and it just so happens that uh, your best and their best at the same time, they got you at the end. Well, I kind of felt like that's how it was at the Monroe Central game. I really thought that, you know, going in, Monroe Central was the favorite there on their home floor, and, and obviously we know that South Adams had a chance to win at the end of regulation, and uh, looking back, probably uh, – some regrets on some things that they might have been able to do differently at the end. Uh, but yeah, I thought that was a very competitive ball game. I thought that one, uh, you go back earlier in the week and you look at that Woodland game, I think that's that's the other game that you're talking yeah. about. That's just uh, South Adams is better than they performed in that Woodland game. They'd like to have a do over there. Uh, but you look at the way the schedule sets up, uh, starting in February really, when you, when you think about you know, prepping your team for, for the playoff run. But you start off with Norwell in early February. You go to Parkway. Uh, Jay County obviously got the rivalry in Adams Central at Fort Recovery. Woodland's always a tough game. Monroe Central, a very tough opponent. Obviously, Blackford tonight, the 14th-ranked team, uh, according to the computer Sadron ratings. Uh, Bluffton a little bit down this year, but that's no gimme either. Eastbrook is a little bit lighter. Uh, but uh, and, and I like I like the way the schedule shapes up there at the end. Bluffton, I think we've already beat by near 20 or, or at least 20 back in the ACAC tournament. That's right. Uh, Eastbrook's, I, I believe, a five-win team, if I can remember correctly, off the top of my head. So, so a couple of nice games there at the end of the schedule, a little fluffier. Uh, get a chance to get back in your groove, feeling good about yourself again. But uh, February has been a tough month for the South Adams Starfires in terms of strength of schedule. And again, I like that. That's uh, that's what you want when you get when you're going to go have to face a much improved Canterbury team. That's they right. are uh, they've got their uh, their best player back. Last time uh, when South Adams beat Canterbury by 30, they uh, were without. Uh, I can't remember his name off the top of my head, but they have him back now, and they took Heritage, the ACAC regular season champions. They took Heritage uh, to two overtimes the other night. So. Uh, this is a different Canterbury team, but again, I like I like the way this schedule has has wrapped up for South Adams. Uh, I think it's uh, full of tough teams and uh, really gets you get gets you ready for that uh, playoff run. We're going to take another quick break. You're watching Starfire Basketball right here on Witness Media. With over 35 years of auto body experience, 101 Auto Collision gets the job done right the first time. We are a full-service auto body shop who offers great repairs at affordable prices. Our ASC certified technicians offer full restoration services, from painting and dent repair to frame straightening, bumper repair, auto glass, and everything in between. Our team can restore your vehicle to its pre-damaged condition. Our shop offers free estimates and is happy to work with your insurance company. Call today. Hitzer Fireplace and Outdoor Patio Solutions is your trusted fireplace design, outdoor living, and barbecue experts. Looking for a fresh remodel project or new construction? Conventional or modern, Hitzer has the solution designed just for you. Hitzer built patios, pergolas, and outdoor kitchens accompanied with a new green egg smoker, Louisiana pellet grill, or Saber infrared gas grill can't be matched. Visit us at 269 East Main Street in downtown Bern or call us at 589-8536. Come find out why we've been in business since 1975. 
For 40 years, Amsted's construction and supplies has strived to help you make your house a home. From major renovations and small remodel projects to matching your perfect paint colors, we are your one-stop family-owned business. From the entire Amsted's construction family, thank you for trusting us to make your home improvement dreams a reality. Amsted's construction and supplies, specializing in quality since 1979. Every child has the right to the financial support from both parents, regardless of whether the parents are married, live together, or live separately. The Adams County Prosecutor's Office is here to help every child can establish child support orders, establish paternity, locate non-custodial parents, enforce payment of child support, and modify child support orders. Give your child the peace of mind knowing they are being properly supported. Contact the Adams County Prosecutor's Office at 724-5362 for help in getting your child the support they deserve. On a winning team, players get the job done right the first time. At Helena Chemical Company, getting the job done right is the only job we have. During the growing season, we show customers how to grow stronger, more profitable crops with the Helena Acre, a production system that achieves higher yields and greater returns. A key product on the Helena Acre team is Hydrohume, an organic acid that gives crops a better chance to take up more nutrients and moisture for stronger returns at harvest. To learn more, go to HelenaConnects.com. Here's to the grown-ups. Your car is now your office. Stage. Nursery. Shh. Sorry. Erie Insurance offers products that lots of other companies don't. That's a big deal. And it's a good deal, too. And with Erie, you get your own independent agent. Not a giant corporate call center or some online robot. You meet with a real person like this. Your local Erie agent is John Kintz Insurance. Visit KintzInsurance.com. Erie Insurance. Locally owned and serving Eastern Indiana and Western Ohio, Burn Ready Mix is here to provide your concrete and masonry needs. From new homes and backyard projects to factories and farms, we are here with experience and service you can count on. Come visit us at 155 East Buckeye Street in Burn or online at www.burnreadymix.com. For nearly 70 years, Baumgartner attorneys have provided dependable legal services to you, your parents, and your grandparents. With both Dave and Nick Baumgartner providing legal services, you can be assured that we'll be here for generations to come. Whether your legal needs include estate planning, estate settlements, real estate, corporations, LLCs, or personal injury, we're here to serve you. So come and visit us in Bern or call 589-3139. Baumgartner Attorneys, legal services for you and your family. Back here in the Stardome, we've got the starting lineups ready for you now. And we will start with the visitors on the scoreboard. It's the Blackford Bruins. They will start a 6-foot, 1-inch senior, number 1, Cam Elam. Six foot five inch senior, number three, Landon Grimes. A six foot sophomore, number 12, Dawson Hunley. A six foot two inch senior, number 25, Luke Brown. And a six foot two inch junior, number 34, Scott Winger. Head coach, Mr. Grant Newland. And now for the Starfires. And it is a starting lineup that has grown rather customary throughout the year. A few alterations here and there, but this is what we've got. A six foot four inch senior forward number two, Nick Miller. Six foot three inch senior forward number four, Braden Gilbert. A six foot three inch senior forward number 11, James Arnold. Six foot two inch junior guard number 12, Aiden Warner. And a five foot 11 inch junior guard number 20, Trey Shock. Starfires are coached by Mr. Josh Hendrickson. Got two minutes and 52 seconds left. In the pregame, again, it's brought to you by Innovative Concepts. I also want to remind you, we do have a ball game happening for you in Decatur tonight. And the Belmont Braves are in action this evening. And uh, Belmont working on a 14-6 and record. Uh, very, very fine record for the Belmont Braves this year, 14-6. and That'll work. 
Uh, not yep, a bad, no not doubt. a bad mark for the Braves. And uh, Jonathan Filling has uh, a 45 and 47 career mark in his fourth year at the school. Um, that's a, a pretty senior-laden team, though, very similar to what South Adams is going to have to deal with in terms of uh, graduation and the result of uh, a lot of guys that uh, Coach Filling is going to have to replace in the lineup next year and a lot of guys that Coach Hendricks is going to have to replace in the lineup uh, next year as well. So, you know, it comes with a territory, Phil. You can't avoid uh, having kids graduate. That's just the way life goes. But reality is when you have at least three, if not four, senior starters, uh, sometimes that gets kind of tough, and uh, that's the way it's going to be. But instead of focusing on next year, <laughs> we still have a week of regular season and a week of sectional coming up. So we're going to keep it in the now, if you will, and uh, we'll see how the Starfires can fare against this Blackbird team tonight. Phil, any other interesting tidbits or stats that you stumbled upon that you wanted to highlight before we got going? Well, we should probably mention Luke Brown one more time in the pregame, I think. Makes uh, sense. Obviously, he comes in uh, fifth leading score in state history, 2,735 points. He needs 267 points in order to pass a guy you may have heard of, a guy uh, who's on the uh, Boston Celtics roster right now, Romeo Langford. Uh, he's fourth all time at just over 3,000, 3,002. And he's got uh, another guy you might have heard of, the all time leading scorer, Damon Bailey. He's going to have to get 399 here down the stretch. That would require a state title run. Yes, it would. And that would require averaging over 40 points a game, which yes, it would. Uh, I don't think that's out of the question here necessarily. Uh, but again, that it's kind of a testament to the kind of kid Luke Brown is, is that I don't think that's necessarily what motivates him. Obviously, that's that's got to be somewhere in his mind, you would think, but he, he's, he just really is kind of that cliche of Indiana high school basketball, a team first guy, and he proves it every night out by the way he, uh, he creates for his teammates and, and gets them involved in the basketball game as well. No question, no question. We are moments away from the National Anthem and the starting lineups here in the stardom. We're going to go to our final commercial break. We'll come back with the Kent's Insurance first quarter right after this on Witness Media. Live life to the fullest at Adams Woodcrest Villas and Apartments. Make new friends and take part in educational, inspirational, and just plain fun activities. Enjoy the best in maintenance-free independent living. Enjoy life at Adams Woodcrest Villas and Apartments in Decatur. Welcome to RK Financial, a non-intimidating atmosphere where we confidently give you answers to your financial questions and concerns. We assist people every day with their 401ks, IRAs, and college savings plans. You'll find solutions to your retirement goals and estate planning, as well as recommendations for life insurance and long-term care needs. This is Randy Kistler. Stop in and see us or call 589-3533 for a free, no-obligation portfolio review. Spare Time Lanes on the north edge of Vern is ready for you, whether you're looking to join a league, plan a party, or just enjoy some recreational bowling. And follow the crowd when your hunger gets the best of you. Breakfast is served Friday, Saturday, and Monday mornings. Lunch begins at 11, Monday through Saturday. And you can enjoy a delicious bar and grill menu for dinner on these same nights. Spare Time Lanes features great appetizers, entrees, and desserts for everyone. They will even cater your next event. Quench your thirst, satisfy your hunger, and enjoy a few hours with friends at Spare Time Lanes. Hi, Jim here from Mosier Ford in Vernon, Portland. Our customers know that we have new Ford products on lot. Of course, we also have pre-owned, but what they may not know is we can find exactly what you're looking for in an almost brand new vehicle. Example, this is a 2020 Escape with 60 miles on it. It was a test unit at Ford, full factory warranty, but big savings. Now, this being a pre-recorded ad, it's probably going to be gone, but we'll find you something similar. At Bixler Insurance, you'll find caring agents who will give you options with multiple companies. We're here to protect your family farm or large agribusiness. We're here to protect the houses and cars you own and everything that hits the road or water. We will help navigate the world of health insurance. And we're here to protect your family's future with life insurance. We're here to protect your business, from small retail to large manufacturing. So stop by and see us today. 
Now is the time to stop by the Coons Den in downtown Geneva for a family-friendly, smoke-free dining experience. New owner Steve and Kimmy Coon and their staff will always have a nightly special ready for you, ranging from their delicious variety of wings to hearty pizzas and delectable loaded baked potatoes. Check out the Monday Night Football specials all season long, and be sure to call ahead to book parties in advance of your next get-together. You are sure to have great food and a great time with friends at the Coons Den. Make the Coons Den your next dining destination. Welcome back to the Stardome. The Starfire starting lineup getting wrapped up here by the public address announcer, Mr. Jeff Lehman. And we are ready for the Kent's Insurance first quarter. We've been serving our clients since 1966 and are committed to doing so for many years into the future. When it comes to protecting your family, home, and auto, and property, we take our job very very seriously, right there on Monroe Street, just across the street from St. Joe Catholic School. So it's going to be number three, Landon Grimes. Number two, Nick Miller to jump it up. Grimes will win it, but put, gives it right to Arnold. And Arnold has it tied up for a second, gets back in control and knocks down the first buck of the ball game just like that. South Adams on top. That's South, a good start. Absolutely. South Adams starts off in their 1-3-1. One, one. That's a strong defensive effort right there by Miller, simply standing there. And, oh, just a little bit out of control there. Wanner left wide open on the baseline. Can't get it to go. Brown rips down the rebound. And he will go inside and overthrow. Turnover by the Blackford Bruins. He was trying to hit number 12, Dawson Hundley. Hundley just not quite able to get up high enough for that one. You see the Bruins, they like to uh, they like to push. They want to get out and run. They that time, like, Sal Adams sped them up a little bit. Look like they've got a man-to-man -man defense being played here. Ball goes around. Shot gets a step. Goes up. Can't get the roll. Battled for one by Arnold. Puts it back up. Tapped away. Gilbert's going to go up strong. And he'll finish in the paint. Braden Gilbert knocks down his first bucket. And it is four to nothing. Starfires here in the early going. Got to say that was all created. Uh, although Trey did not make the shot, I like to see him on the attack early. Three from the left side. That's number one, Cam Elam, that knocks down his first triple, and he trims the Starfire lead to just one. That's one of those guys. Basically, everybody out there on the floor for the Bruins, other than 34 winger, they can shoot, and they're going to spread the floor, allow uh, Brown to work. Uh, but you got to keep an eye, uh, especially on Elam and on Grimes. Hundley, not too bad. I should mention him as well. 42% from downtown on the year. Knocked away. Last touched by number three, Landon Grimes. It'll stay with the Starfires. Going to be key tonight for South Adams. Take care of the basketball. They've done a much, uh, a really good job the past few weeks of uh, not turning the ball over. Lob pass inside, goes off the hand of Brown. It'll stay with the Starfires. This went through the hands of Arnold and deflected just awkwardly enough that Brown could not control it. Pass comes around to Shock on the left wing. He'll go back up top. They'll reset. Arnold in the lane. Lob pass into Miller. Miller going to work down on the block, and he'll go to the line to shoot a pair, and we'll see there's a couple of Bruins that that could be flagged against. And they're going to whistle against Grimes. I was kind of hoping Nick might kick it out to Warner. Warner, a 40% three-point shooter on the air. Would have had an open shot. But, hey, if you're going to take it up, take it up strong, which Nick did. And uh, for his hard work, going to shoot a pair. Miller's first is another but net. Five to three star fires on the Gertie Chiropractic scoreboard. And the second one is as good as the first one. Miller, two for two on that trip. Starfires have the Bruins doubled here early, six to three. Five fifty-six left in the Kent's Insurance first. Cross-court pass, an open look for Elam, but he's going to wrap around that pass, go into the paint, and a foul committed in the paint, and I believe it's going to be Gilbert. No, they're going to say it's Arnold. 
That was good work there by South Adams defensively. Obviously, the, the double team came there and forced Brown to give it up. Brown tried to hit the opposite corner. South Adams did a good job to scramble back and force Elam to give it up. Scott Winger knocks in the first free throw. Brings it to 6-4. to four. And he is 2-for-2 two two on that trip as well. Brings the Bruins back to within one. Not too shabby for a 50% free throw shooter on the year winger, but I like that. If South Adams is going to lose this one, we're going to lose it with winger going to the line. What are you going to do Tip other than tip your cap to the opponent and say, hey, Arnold, good game. Arnold convinced he did not touch that after it was deflected, but the official thought otherwise that it's back to the Bruins. They're going to get Brown off the ball this time for his first look. And that was short, but the rebound put back up and in by Grimes. Grimes knocks that one down, and the Bruins with their first lead here as Brown knocks it out of bounds. Warner will simply hurdle the seats. <laughs> Wouldn't it be nice to be young and skinny <laughs> again? 5'15", hey, when I was his age, I was a rail. I was a beanpole. I don't have that problem anymore, Phil. How about you? <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> it's been a while. I've always been really good friends with food, and then metabolism mm -hmm. slows down, and you just have to deal with it. Beautiful Three on the play. way from Warner. That's no good. High in the air goes Grimes. He brings it down. Brown lost the handle, but right to Elam. He'll shoot up the three. That won't go. Grimes battles for it, but Warner comes away with it. Gilbert. Wraparound pass to Shock. <laughs> I like that. James Arnold calling for it down low. He liked that matchup on Elam, and I think that's one you got to give it to. J James on the block against Elam, that's good for the Starfires. Gilbert Long on that one. Miller go comes away with the rebound, fires it back up top. Shock will drive it to the right. Little fadeaway, but tipped out to Warner to keep it on the Starfire side. We're going to get an offensive foul whistled against Warner on the block. Again, I think that's a, that's a matchup. Anytime you find Elam, I, I love uh, the high basketball IQ there from James. Elam guarding him. Elam at what, 6'1", but a, a slight 6'1". James has a much more physical advantage on Elam. If you get Elam, the James one-on-one -on, -one on Elam in the block, I think you got to throw it in. Three on the way. That's good. And give that one to number 12, Dawson Hunley. And it's 10-6 in favor of the Bruins. And Luke Brown has not scored yet. Pretty impressive. Four-point Bruin lead, and Luke Brown not even on the board. Arnold going to work down on the block. Little spin. Too hard off the backboard. Rebound comes off to Scott Winger. Brown with the basketball. Fires down to the corner. A baseline drive. And good a good help. defensive play by Gilbert. Yep. Yes, it was. Grimes wanted the foul, but there was not a whole lot of contact outside of what he drew. No, nope, Gilbert got there early, did a good job of staying vertical. Warner gets the good finish there on the end. Drive. And good that's going to go. Give that one again to Dawson Hundley. That's his second bucket. Fast and furious. Hundley gets the tip. Quickly up the floor to Brown, and he'll finish on the left side. Luke Brown with his first bucket. And just like that, 14-8 to eight after a flurry that has the Bruins on top by six. Just inside three minutes. Shock with the basketball. Comes off the pick. Good little stop and go. Absolutely. Good change of direction, change of speed. There by Trey Shock again. When he's putting the basketball on the floor, I think that's when this offense is most effective. Not just settling for that outside jumper. Pass comes inside to Grimes. He fades away. Can't get it. Battled for and won by Gilbert. Good defense again by Gilbert to step over early, anticipate, and just kind of put that big chest, be strong, be physical, but stay vertical. He wasn't swatting. Excellent defense by Gilbert. Shock to Warner. Warner, little stop. Reverses to Shock. Down in the corner. Warner has a look for three. Got it. Aiden Warner with the deep one. South Adams back to within one, 14 to 13. Brown from way downtown. No good. And the long rebound saved by the Bruins, but dribbled off of his own leg. Grimes could not get a handle on it. 
Grimes again lobbying for a little bit of a foul down there. Thought he might have gotten need a little bit. And we've got our first substitution for the Starfires as Drew Stutzman enters the lineup. And for Blackford, Grimes will go to the sideline. we got number 20, Dane Baker, into the lineup. So now South Adams overall much taller than the Bruins. Probably behoove them to work it inside without a doubt. Stutzman. New no. scary pass right there. Lob pass into uh, just a bit too much for Miller. Could not get up to get uh, that one. That's a tough angle when you go straight from the top of the key to the low post that way and you try to throw it over the top. Uh, just, just a tough pass to make. Brown will try the baseline, leaves it off. Good pass inside and an easy one there for Scott Winger. Again, Brown just draws so much attention. Now their guys find themselves wide open. Does everything so quickly. Yep. Arnold with it. Leaves it off. Warner to Arnold in the lane. And he will go to the line to shoot two. Nearly had the end one. I like that Arnold. He, he knows that he likes that matchup as well on Elam. And he's going to be able to, anytime those two get one-on-one, -on -one, you gotta you got to like your odds in that matchup. At the very least, James is going to go to the line. Dane Baker with his first personal foul. The team's second. And Arnold misses the front end. Now we just got to start hitting some shots. Again, we're on the Kins Insurance first quarter. We've been serving our clients since 1966 and are committed to doing so for many years into the future. When it comes to protecting your family, home, auto, and property, we take our job very, very seriously. Arnold one for two. 16-14 inside a minute. That's thrown away. And that was all by Stutzman. He recognized that Elam had already stepped, had already leaned, made the commitment. All he had to do was lean into that passing lane. There was nowhere for him to go with the basketball, and he threw it right out of bounds. Good play there by Stutzman. Into the corner. Wanner's going to try deep three. Front iron no good. Elam with the rebound. Bruins quickly down the floor. Three on the way from the left wing. That's an air ball, but Brown is there. Blocked away by... Miller and knocked out of bounds. Good defensive play there by the Starfires. Now 33.1 seconds here. If you're Coach Hendrickson, what do you do here, Phil? Do you let him, do you hold it here for 33 seconds, or do you just keep going with the flow here? Ah, why not? Why not just go with the flow? I don't see any need to hold it. Good pass in the middle that was batted away from him by Baker. It'll stay with the Starfires. The pace, I think, uh, was benefit. I tell you what, South Adams a little bit slow sometimes with the start. You alluded to it in the pregame, but uh, when they get going, this is the kind of basketball they want to play as well. Arnold was left wide open, can't hit it. Miller with the rebound on the weak side and put back up and in Nick Miller with his first bucket. He's got four after the pair of free throws he hit earlier. We're knotted at 16 with eight seconds. Brown for three. Short. Rebound inside, knocked away, and we got a foul in the lane. And it's going to be against James Arnold, and it's his second personal foul. Third on the team, and it's going to put Baker at the line to shoot two. He got his front end. Baker only a 57% free throw shooter on the year. But wow. he knocks down both. Three seconds. Stutzman from way downtown. And a little bit too hard, and that'll do it. The Bruins will take an 18-16 lead to the end of the first quarter. We'll be back with more right after this on Witness Media. At Decatur Dental Services, all of our offices provide complete dental care, including crowns, bridges, and dentures, teeth whitening, orthodontics and Invisalign, restorations, preventative care, cosmetics, and sports mouth guards. In Decatur, Botox and Juvederm are available as well. We have offices in Decatur, Geneva, Bern, Bluffton, and Warren to serve you. To learn more about our doctors, office hours, and insurance information, please visit DecaturDentalIN.com or like us on Facebook. New patients are always welcome as our patient referrals, so contact us today. There are old timber barns dotting the landscape here in Adams County, and they're all disappearing. Each one of those barns has a story to tell, a story of the hard work, the perseverance of our forefathers. We don't want to see those barns completely go away. They all have a story to tell. It was a barn. 
And what can that barn become? Could be a floor. It could be furniture. There's one more chapter to be told, and it can be told in your home. Come and see us at Legacy Lumber by M.C. Habegger, located within Habegger Ace Lumber in Bern. Ready for the Ms. Lehman Realty second quarter. Ms. Lehman Realtor and Auctioneers have been serving this great community since 1960. We have the experience and expertise you can count on. Ms. Lehman Realtor and Auctioneers, welcome home. We did have a, a switch there. The foul at the end of the quarter was not against Arnold. It was against Stutzman. So Stutzman has one. Arnold has one. Warner has one. Grimes with it in the paint. Little fade away. Can't get it to go. Batted around. Picked off by Baker on the weak side, and he got it. Dane Baker with his first bucket. That goes with a pair of free throws he hit at the end of the second quarter. A traveling violation. Whistled against Shock. And that will be a turnover for really no no real effort by the Black for Bruins to have to worry about. Inside to Grimes. Grimes up strong, no good. And let's see what we got here. No, oh, they're going to say a technical foul on Grimes. Wow, interesting. And that's actually the third time that Grimes has gone up for a shot and didn't really get a call. Hmm. I didn't see anything, and I don't know what he said, but whatever it was, was outside the bounds. Grimes with his second foul with that tech. And Warner knocks down the first free throw. So much scrambling you have to do when you, when you take away one option. Blackford so adept at moving the basketball, anticipating the defense collapsing on one and looking for the open man. They move the ball so well as a team. Warner good on the second one as well. And Grimes will go to the sideline in favor of Scott Winger. Right now, so South Adams just having to, you see so much scrambling. Go, you, you take one option away, and then it's scramble to take away the next. It's a, it's a frenetic pace that the Bruins force you into defensively. Shock back to Gilbert. He gets a step, goes up, can't get it, can't get control, continues to battle, and Arnold comes away with it. Loses it, but right to shock, and they'll reset. Both teams getting a lot of second-chance opportunities really here in the early going. And I don't mind second opportunities as long as the pace is frenetic, and that's a good take there by Drew Stutzman. As long as there is yep, max I effort agree. put out like on that. both sides, yep. they can have as many shots as they want. And if I think you we're overrun a that. rebound or what yep. have you, exactly. such is life. But when you're standing there, that's a problem. I think we're seeing max effort on both ends of the floor here tonight out of both teams. And South Adams is simply going to say everybody else has to do it. Three from the corner, and that's another one by Dawson Hundley. Young man has eight points early here, taking care of business with the basketball in his hand. Two from beyond the arc and one inside. 23-20. Luke Brown, he's not going to force anything. He's going to trust his teammates, and right now the Bruins' teammates are coming through for him. He's been slow. Obviously, he's drawn a lot of def defensive attention. South Adams doing a good job of neutralizing him for the vast majority of the, the onset of this game. Arnold going to work in the lane. Can't get it to go. Rebound comes off to Baker. Drive, wraparound pass, and Arnold knew it was coming. Great job to hustle back. Didn't sulk after the missed bucket. Of course, that's exactly what you'd expect out of James. Does it the right way. And we got an offensive foul whistled against Braden Gilbert. A little bit too much on the clear out. That's his first, the team's fourth. So 540 left here in the Ms. Lehman Realty second quarter. Ms. Lehman Realtor and Auctioneers. From the tee. Back iron no good. Shock with the rebound. Arnold with it. Warner got the step but couldn't get the lean. Tough shot. Brown doing a nice job of cutting off his track to the basket, and Elam will try a three-pointer. And that's got to be a whistle on 12, and it is. 
Nice job by Stutzman to rip that away, and a little frustration foul by Dawson Hundley, as that is two on Dawson, that is uh, four on the team. And Grimes will come back in, and Miller will come back in. So 23-20 in favor of the Bruins. 5.05 left here in the Ms. Lehman Realty second quarter. Warner taking a look over at Coach Hendrickson to get the orders. Lob pass inside to Arnold. Arnold can't get it to go. Tough shooting start for James. Three from straight away. That's another one that goes. That's the second or the first three for uh, Dane Baker, the fourth three for the Bruins. And Shock with an offensive foul. There's nowhere really to go. Driving uh, kind of wild into a lot of traffic. Got to have an idea of where you want to go with the basketball before you get there, before you get stuck. And Baker with the basketball. Reverses it to Elam. Brown left open for three from the corner. Can't get it. Arnold with the rebound. Speaking of a tough start, Luke Brown just one of six overall from the field to begin. Good feed inside to Nick Miller, and Miller finishes on the block. He's got six. He continues to be his usual efficient self. He doesn't get a whole lot of attempts from the field, but when he does, he converts more often than not. Shock will slow things down. Right side to Miller to Warner. Now Stutzman. Shock from way downtown. No good. Tipped away, but one away by Baker. He'll bring it down himself. They reverse it to Grimes. Grimes will drive it. And a reach-in foul. They're going to count that. Wow. That's They're a counting NBA, the basket. A little NBA continuation right there. That whistle came early, and they just let him play through it. Wow. Wow. Whew. Wanner, I believe, whistled for it. That's his second, the team's sixth. And the bucket is good for Grimes. And he will shoot a free throw. Some uh, South Adams faithful, a little bit uh, unimpressed with that particular call. Grimes got it. Hey, you, you win some and you lose some on the calls. 29-22. They're not all going to go for you. They're not all going to go against you. It's just the way the game goes, Phil. What are you going to do? Indeed. Keep playing. That's what you got to expect. Uh, James Arnold, after a slow shooting start, he's not going to slow down. He's going to stay. He's got the good matchup. He's got a little tougher matchup with Grimes on him in that length now. But you got to give a lot of credit to Cam Elam, too, for the job he's done on good James. Good pass inside to early. Arnold. Stutzman to finish. Arnold. That's a nice play right there. James now yeah. with five. He needed that one. Needed to see one go through. Get Grimes him loosened up. For three. That won't go. Battled four. And the last to touch it was South Adams. Let's say it was either Arnold or Gilbert, one of the two. I can't honestly tell you which one it was. 2.46 left here in the Ms. Lehman Realty and Auctioneer second quarter. Looking, looking, inside, Grimes left wow, wide that's open. That's just bad defense out of bound underneath. Got turned the wrong way. You get turned facing the baseline. Instead of butt to the baseline, you can't see what's going on behind you. Good feed inside. Miller finishes down on the block. Another good feed into Miller. 31-26. The Bruins still on top by five. Three for three for Miller to start the game. Baker for three. That rattles home. Dane Baker with his second three, the fifth three in the half for Blackbird, and the lead grows to eight on that triple. Got to be impressed, Seth, with the way the supporting cast has carried the offensive load for the Bruins here in the first half. Shock had that one swatted away and then tipped it out of bounds. Good defense there by Luke Brown. Brown not contributing a whole lot from a uh, point standpoint. He's but finding he's other ways to impact the game, isn't he? Strong defensively, and he's really facilitated well. We got a full timeout taken by the Starfires. We'll take one of our own. Be back right after this on Witness Media. Do you know all of the services provided at Decatur Hardware and Rental? 
We're a U-Haul dealer. We fill grill tanks, test pool water, custom mix paint, cut keys, ship UPS packages, cut glass, rent tents, tables and chairs, a trencher, skid loader, tractor, sod cutter, scaffolding, and so many more items. Hardware, plumbing, electrical, or paint. Decatur Hardware and Rental can make your project much easier to complete. Decatur Hardware and Rental, across from the Bungie plant, do it best. Apartment living at its best with an exceptional location and affordable living. Located on Triple Zero Road in Bern, Eastview Apartments are currently offering spacious two bedroom apartment homes with full size washer, dryer, range, refrigerator, dishwasher, disposal, free maintenance, private entrances, balcony or patio, and much more. Please call 260 589 8602 for further information. We know you will be proud to call Eastview Apartments your home. Back here in the stardom, we do have an update from Belmont. Belmont has a 10-6 lead after one quarter of play against Bishop Dwinger. So a low-scoring affair there. Three from Elam. Knocked it down. Goodness. That's Elam's second three-pointer. So two three-pointers from Elam, Hundley, and Baker. And it's a 37-26 uh, lead, South Adams trailing only with one three-pointer good first step got to be and is and the foul will be whistled I believe against Dawson Hundley but we will verify love the way James is staying on the attack not letting uh, a slow shooting start bother him or get in his head only two of eight to start but uh, continuing to it continuing to attack and you know James He's just such a steady performer, game in, game out. He's going he's gonna to find a way to contribute. Knocks down the first free throw here, cuts the lead back to 10. He's done a good job of getting to the line here of late. Two for two on this trip is James Arnold, and now another substitution coming here. As number four, Ethan Morris, into the lineup. Three from way downtown. Back iron no good. Battled for and won by Arnold. He'll quickly get it up. Oh, nice pass across the way. Feet inside too much. Ah, uh, that's tough. Three by Elam. That's short. Rebound, however, comes out to Ethan Morris. Three from Elam again. That one won't go. Miller with the rebound. 57 seconds left here. The Starfires trailing by nine. See how much of this nine-point lead they can fritter away here for the Bruins before the half comes to an end. Wild shot in the lane by Stutzman. Won't go. Rebound by Elam. He's going to bring it down quickly. Stops and pops in the lane, and he can't get the roll. Miller got it. He's double, triple teamed, hit from behind, didn't notice it, and gives it away to Brown. Nobody came to help him out. Brown gets his second bucket on the steal and the putback, and now with 24 seconds. Shock taking it inside, and he got it. Trey Shock with his second bucket. 16 seconds, 39-30 Bruins. Elam will try a three from the other side. That's long. Gilbert with the rebound. Arnold takes a look at the time, brings it up himself. Shock will come off the pick, put up the shot. Can't get it to go. 39-30 is the score of the ball game at the half. Good half of uh, competitive play here. The Bruins had a two-point lead at the end of one, have a nine-point lead here at the end of two. And that wraps up our Ms. Lehman Realty and auctioneers uh, second quarter. Ms. Lehman Realtor and auctioneers have been serving this great community since 1960, and we have the experience and expertise you can count on. Ms. Lehman, Realtor and auctioneers, welcome home. We'll be back with the Riverstone Dental Halftime Show right after this on Witness Media. 
Zwick and Jan Funeral Home has been serving Adams and Allen County's families by celebrating and honoring life since 1899. Independently family-owned, Zwick and Jan have three locations to serve you in Decatur, Bird, and Monroeville. With two pastors and two certified life celebrants on staff, every aspect of your funeral needs can be met. Zwick and Jan offers burial and cremation services along with aftercare services for the survivors of lost loved ones. Call for your free pre-arrangement consultation today. Zwick and Jan is continuing to build on a great reputation, not resting on one. Hi, this is Aaron Rupp with CMA Truck and Auto. I would like to invite you to visit us here on the south edge of Bern on Highway 27 or online at cmatruckandauto.com. Here you won't find any gimmicks or extra fees, just quality vehicles at a fair price. We strive to offer a variety of vehicles to meet the needs of you and your family. Come see us online at cmatruckandauto.com or like our Facebook page, for the latest deals and updates. At Adams Memorial Hospital, we care for the things that mean the most to you, your health, your family, and your community. Compassion is just as important to us as being accredited or our Follow My Health online patient portal or having top of the line medical technology. Because at Adams Memorial Hospital, exceptional care means listening a little longer, a hug or a kind gesture from a nurse. Compassion and medical expertise. That's Adams Memorial Hospital. Exceptional care close to you. Building people's dreams for the past 19 years, Marquee Builders offers a complete design build experience. Whether you're looking to build a new home or just update your existing home, we offer a full range of construction services to Adams and the surrounding counties. If you need help visualizing your project, we have a full-time design staff that can work with you to create the look of your dreams. Big or small, the attention to detail and exceptional quality is what all of our customers have come to expect. Give us a call for your free consultation or stop in and visit us at our showroom in Bern. Coppersmith Electric on US 27 South of Bern is a company that strives to be the best in their field by providing superior electrical craftsmanship in all phases of commercial, industrial, residential, and agricultural wiring. We do it all. New and remodel wiring, standby generator installs, controls, machine hookups, energy audits, and higher low voltage and underground work. Call licensed master electrician Travis Smith at 260-849-1137 or visit www.coppersmithelectric.com to get a quality job done right. Since 1926, Smith Brothers of Bern has been combining old world craftsmanship with the latest technologies to build furniture that is solid, comfortable, and stylish. As one of the largest employers of Adams County, we take pride in building beautiful furniture that lasts for generations. Find a retailer near you by visiting our website, www.smithbrosfern.com. Hi, I'm Bill Montgomery, president of Salina Insurance Group. For more than 100 years, we've had a clear mission to provide the public with essential insurance protection by being a superior regional insurance company. Salina Insurance Group, along with Graber Insurance, is proud to offer the auto, home, business, and farm coverages you need at the price you deserve. See Toby and Byrne or Barb and Decatur for a free quote today. At Fisher Dental, we fix teeth. We also develop relationships with our patients to create lifelong friends. 
Here at Fisher Dental, we clean, extract, and fill teeth. We also make crowns, bridges, partials, and dentures. At Fisher Dental, we like smiles. And remember, we've got your back. And your teeth. Back here in the Stardome on the Riverstone Dental Halftime Show, our team looks forward to providing you and your family the exceptional dental care you need and deserve for healthy smiles. And for more information or to schedule an appointment, contact our Decatur office at 724-7032 or our Bluffton office at 824-14, or excuse me, 4614. 14 left in this halftime show, and we've got some stats here for you, Phil. What's odd when you look at the scoreboard, uh, when you got a 39-30 to 30 lead by the Bruins and you anticipate that uh, the lion's share of the scoring is going to come from number 25, he has four points, and he only had two prior to that last-ish minute steal that he got against Nick Miller and then they're able to put up a layup. Uh, he's got a couple of layups, and that is it. But the reality is beyond that, I mean, let's be honest, he has, he has found some open people and facilitated some very good shots. He's also played some pretty strong defense and uh, worked a few rebounds. He's doing other things, but right now only four for Luke Brown, and the Bruins have 39 points. It's pretty amazing, really. Uh, you got to respect exactly what uh, the Bruins are about here. If you would have told me Luke Brown was going to be held to four first-half points and that the Brewers would still or Bruins would still carry a, a nine-point lead into the half, I don't think I would have believed you. That's right. uh, that's pretty remarkable, and it speaks a lot to how this team has developed over the past couple of years. Because let's be honest, for the first uh, freshman, sophomore, junior season, this really was kind of the Luke Brown show, and that's what limited them, and that's what made uh, any deep postseason runs very improbable. But I tell you what, the way the rest of the supporting cast is playing tonight. Uh, they're going to make it really tough on some teams here come playoff time. There's no question about that. Doing a nice job overall uh, controlling things here tonight. Here's how they uh, look statistically for you here. We'll start with the Bruins as uh, we've got Cam Elam uh, with a pair of three-pointers. He's got six points in the contest. Landon Grimes has seven this evening. Dawson Hundley has eight. Uh, Dane Baker has two three-pointers as well. He's got ten points and actually leads the Bruins in scoring. Uh, coming off the bench, pretty good, pretty impressive right there. Absolutely, yeah. He's done a good job uh, being effective and efficient off the bench. Luke Brown has four points, and Scott Winger has four points as well. For the Starfires, uh, they were uh, led in the first half. Uh, the way it looks here, and again, just doing some uh, arithmetic in my head uh, for the Starfires, Nick Miller uh, taking care of business early on. He has eight. Drew Stutzman has two. Braden Gilbert has two. James Arnold has seven. Aiden Warner has uh, seven. And Trey Schock has four. So it, I still think right now, and Phil, you mentioned it uh, a, a number of times these last couple of broadcasts, and I think it bears repeating right now, Nick Miller's been able to have his way inside. Now, when he scores, on the average, it's two points, and I understand that. But he's doing a nice job of really handling himself on that block. He's got to be feeling pretty good about life. The confidence level is high. And when you, when you take, for instance, Grimes out of the contest uh, for whatever reason, South Adams really needs to come to grips with the idea, well, if Grimes is out, who's going to be able to block right, any of these exactly. guys we dump it inside to, particularly if you can get it to James on the block when he's got Cam Elam on his back. Again, you said, yeah, Cam Elam is a six-foot, one-inch uh, tall individual, but uh, he's not as broad as what uh, James is. And let James use a little of that brawn. Uh, to muscle a couple of shots up and get things going. So. I like it, absolutely. And right now, saw that I'm struggling from downtown. Uh, it hasn't been an easy go of it. I believe they've only, by my stats, uh, our official stats haven't loaded yet. A little internet issues tonight. But I think Aiden's got our only three-point score That's tonight. correct. So uh, by my count, it's one of six from downtown on the evening. And, and so, South Island, it's been a bit of a struggle late from uh, the three-point area. And so, I, again, I like that. Give the ball to Nick Miller. He's so good at, at the very least. I think Blackford's got their hands full with him tonight. When Nick struggles from the floor, it's usually when you've got a, 
uh, a lengthy athlete on him. I don't think the Bruins have that inside tonight. I think Nick's got the advantage in both athleticism and in length. Uh, I like uh, when Nick Miller gets touches down in the low post, and hopefully that's what uh, we see a little bit of in the second half. Wrap on the Riverstone Dental Halftime Show as we're back to live action here. It's the Steve Rich State Farm Insurance third quarter. Good fake right there by Arnold and going right around and in. Arnold with his third bucket to go with three free throws as well. He's got nine in the contest here. Now leads the team. Grimes goes back around. Three from way downtown, and it goes Goodness. again. This, this one, kid. Dawson Hundley, that's his third three-pointer of the night. Yeah, and he's over. he's got to be accounted for over 40% on the year from downtown. Three for three tonight. Uh, you've got to know where number 12 is at all times on the perimeter. Arnold gets another step, and again, Look he'll finish. Go. Continuing to attack James Arnold. He's hit his last three shots now. Didn't shy away after a tough shooting start. That's senior, senior leadership right there out of Arnold. Elam with it, going down to the left side. Brown has just enough time, and he knocks it down. Luke Brown with his first three-pointer. He's got seven. Up top to Gilbert, quickly to Warner. Warner takes it in, can't get it, gets his own rebound, goes back up. He'll go to the line after some harm, and he makes the basket regardless of the foul. Like the way Aiden has looked to attack tonight. Hasn't got a lot of easy looks, but again, when you think of Trey Shock, you think of Aiden Warner, you think of James Arnold. Uh, all those guys have the ability to put the ball on the floor uh, and take it strong to the rim, draw fouls, maybe get the opposing team in foul trouble. But, hey, uh, that's one big thing, but also uh, a chance to get to the free throw line and get some easy buckets. Down into the corner to Elam. He gets a step, but runs right into Gilbert. Gilbert will knock that away. It'll stay with Blackford. Good How close times, out there. How many times has Gilbert anticipated drives tonight, got himself into good position, and then doesn't try to do too much, doesn't swat with the arms, just gets the chest out and gets big. Wraparound pass inside. Fade away, no good. Battled for and won this time by Warner. Ripped away, actually, by Miller. As it looked like uh, Dawson Hundley was going to come away with that. Arnold going to work. Miller hands off to Shock. Warner will stop and pop, and he got it. Confidence in that look when he took that shot, Phil. That's what you want to see in the eyes of Aiden Warner when he takes that shot. The Bruins now by six. I'm just really happy with South Adams tonight, not just settling for the outside shot, looking to attack. Shock pull-up shot. Can't get it to go. Arnold with the rebound, and they're going to whistle him going over the back. That's tough. I think that's James's third, is it not? It's actually his second. They okay. took one okay, of those yep. fouls away. Uh, in the first quarter, mistaken on the reporting of it. It was actually supposed to be against uh, Stutzman. So it is his second, however, and a foul on each side here to start this second half. Grimes will try a three in the corner. Another three goes. Goodness gracious, Grimes with his first three, and the threes continue to rain in here. Warner drives, reverses. Good patience there on the shot fake. Let's Elam fly by. James Arnold heating up. Hit his last four now. The lead is seven, 48 to 41. A deep, deep three. Oh, and goodness. Arnold got the foul, and the three goes. Yeah, just got into him, and, and that was after the shot, but it was on the follow through. You got to let the, the young man come down cleanly. And so that's Dawson a big one. Hunley with his fourth three pointer. Now a chance at a four point play. Chance for, I think, Blackford to get up to their biggest lead of the game. It is 11. Shock little football pass to Warner. Wrap around. Oh, Grimes read that one. Here come the Bruins trying to add to their 11-point lead here. Good bat away there by Warner. And there's going to have to be something whistled here. Are they going to call a jump ball? Win and doubt. <laughs> Are they really going to call a jump that's, ball there? That's the go-to when you're not sure what to do. Holy cow. Great hustle back on defense by the by Aiden Warner there. Not only the hustle to get back and knock it away, but then to get on the floor. Hustle, effort, Aiden Warner, all the above. 
Baseline drive, stop and pop. Got it again. This kid can absolutely shoot it. Dawson Hundley, just a sophomore. He's having a ball game. I don't think he's missed yet from the floor. Gilbert able to make that save. Arnold will reverse it. Shot from way downtown. Can't get it. And Wanner's going to be whistled going over the back. Aiden Shot. with his third personal. Shock's only made one, I think, no, two from the floor tonight. He is uh, two of eight tonight from the field. Dane Baker will return here for the Bruins. And right now, again, when, when it's not going for you from downtown, when you're not feeling it, the best thing you can do, put it on the floor. If, if, the, if you can get to the rim, great. If you can draw a foul, great. If you can create for others, great. Don't just settle, especially when it's not flowing. Don't just settle for that outside jumper. Stutzman will take Aiden Wanner down with his three fouls. Elam for three. Long on this one. Miller comes away with the rebound, leaves it off to Shock. Elam, just, they just keep coming up, don't they, from Elam? I've lost count of how I've, I've ran out of room on his three-point attempts this evening. Shock has Brown on him. Looking, surveying, goes to Gilbert. Now to Arnold. Arnold coming off the pick, leaves it off. Now right side to Stutzman. Shot gets a step, a foul, and he will go to the line for two, I think. We'll see. That's, that's what I want to see out of Trey. Excellent adjustment right there. Third quarter adjustment. Again, only two of eight from the floor. That's exactly what I want to see out of the junior guard. Dane Baker picks up his second personal foul for Blackford, and Shock will go to the line to shoot a pair. Shock's no good on the first. 54-41, Bruins on top here. Now 54-42 as Shock makes his second. Jump pass across the way. Baker left open for three. He knocks down yet another one. Goodness sakes. Dane Baker with his third three-pointer. They're draining him. Everybody's getting in on the act tonight. And Arnold takes it strong inside. He makes another one for the Starfires. Give him 15. I think if you're the Starfires right now, you're almost going to be forced to go into a man-to-man -man defense here. Good job there by Arnold to tip that one away, and he tipped it off of Baker. Baker had to try to throw it off of Arnold to make the save, but... South Adams gets it back. Arnold with a jump shot. Long on this one. Rebound comes off to Hunley. Hunley will drive it right. Intercepted there by the Starfires. Good feed inside. Three from the corner. That one will not go. Battled for, and the last to touch it was Scott Winger of the Bruins. It'll go back to the Starfires. We're going to get a return here of Landon Grimes for Blackford. And Aiden Wanner is going to come back in for the Starfires as well. And I think Arnold's going to get a quick break here with 2.44 left in the third. Blackford 10 of 24 from three-point land this evening, 42%. South Adams only one of nine. That's been the difference in the game. Stutzman. to Warner in the lane. Warner scoops, got it. Good strong finish there by Aiden Warner. Give Aiden 14 on the night. Baker with the basketball. Inside, back up top. Got to find a way to string together some stops here at the last two minutes of this third quarter. Brown with a deep three, couldn't get that one to go. Rebound comes off to Warner. Warner. Luke Brown only one of six from three tonight. Tough pass, tough pass. Just a bit too much there for him. And with minute 53, it goes back to the Bruins. Steve Rich has been serving all of Adams County as a good neighbor State Farm agent since 1980. For all of your auto, home, life, and business insurance, call or text Steve, 728-2933. Stop by his office, 230 South 2nd Street in Decatur. Jeez, everything going the Bruins' way right there. Good defense there by Gilbert. Just swatted away, but the deflection goes right underneath for an easy bucket for Landon Grimes.
Nobody there. <laughs> Shock able to save, but right to Brown. And a foul whistled against Shock as Brown will go to line to shoot two. Shock with his second personal. It's the team's fourth, and really Trey didn't have a whole much, a whole lot more option there. You got to commit the foul to keep the easy one. Well, it's from occurring. These are pretty easy as well for Luke Brown. Well, ninety-three percent on the year that's from the true. charity stripe. I think he was one twenty-four of one thirty-five, if I remember correctly. That's you don't see that very often in high school basketball. You don't see that very often. Period. Arnold will come back into the ball game, take down Gilbert with a minute 22 left here in the Steve Rich State Farm Insurance third quarter. And Brown is two for two. Six points, or excuse me, nine points now for Luke Brown. Baseline drive, Warner takes it. Strong finish on the baseline. Aiden Warner with a good finish and a good shot. He's hit his last four. He's had a big third quarter for South Adams. 16 points for Aiden. Minute four left here in the third. Grimes, jump pass inside to Miner. Grimes will try another three. Why not? Why not? No, why not? Landon Grimes Man. with his second three-pointer. What a performance. I'm impressed by the uh, Blackford Bruins as a whole tonight. Warner will try to answer. Short on this one. Miller with the rebound. Going to work inside. Got it. Nick Miller with his fourth bucket. He's got ten points in the contest. Gets South Adams back to within 14. What an efficient night out of Nick Miller. Four of four from the field. Two of two from the charity stripe. Big game. Jump pass. Tipped but completed to Brown. And Brown turns it over. Shock takes it himself, got the finish. Shock now with seven, the lead down to 12 with 10 seconds left. Can't give anything up here, got to get a hand in the face. They got to know where shooters are. Well contested. Tipped, controlled, put oh, back man. up and in by Grimes at the buzzer. That's a killer. Landon Grimes with another bucket. He's got 17 points himself. And it's 66-52 at the end of the Steve Rich State Farm Insurance third. Steve Rich has been serving all of Adams County as a good neighbor State Farm agent since 1980. For all of your auto, home, life, business insurance, call, text, call or text Steve at 728-2933 or stop by his office at 230 South 2nd Street in Decatur. Back with more right after this on Witness Media. Hi, honey. What did you do at Swiss Village today? Nothing. Live at Swiss Village, where you can do nothing. Made in America on Cape Cod, T. Giselle creates natural stone stretch bracelets meant for mixing and stacking. Their beautiful and stylish design offers each wearer a unique chance to customize their stack with all stone bracelets or with a charm meaningful to them. Whatever way you choose, create a look all your own. Mix, match, and stack it your way with T. Giselle at Richard's Jewelry in downtown Bern. 12 three-pointers for Blackford through three quarters. And they're up 66 to 52 over your Starfires. South Adams has made just one three-pointer. And there's a steal. And the finish on the other end for number 20, Dane Baker. Very yeah. impressed. Very impressed with the uh, with the other guys, the non-Luke Brown guys. Baker now with 13. Everybody feed getting in. Inside to Arnold, and he finishes. Good feed inside. James now with 17. And yeah, it's got to be a travel, and it is. Grimes just lost the handle of the basketball, and he knew it. You just see a confident basketball team down there in the Blackford Bruins. Everybody shooting the ball. No hesitation on anybody's part. They get an open look. They feel confident that they're in their ability to knock it down. 
Wanner's going to try a three. Long iron, no good. Wanner thought he was pushed after the uh, three-pointer, but no call. Three on the way, right side, no good. Stutzman will go chase it down. Quickly back to shock. Here come the Starfires. Good to see Dawson Hundley miss and come back down to earth. He's six of seven now. There's the got to be one, and there is. And it's a two-shot foul coming as number 12, Dawson Hundley, is going to be whistled for his third. It is the team's third. Arnold at the line to shoot two. Dawson Hundley came into this game averaging six and a half points a game. And Arnold missed the front end. Nearly tripled that here yeah. tonight. Just really, really feeling it tonight. I don't know how else you describe it. I mean, the, the whole lot of the Bruins taking care of business, shooting the basketball. Arnold makes the second. Give him 18. The drive. And a little hanging jump shot goes. Dawson Hundley. You know... And that's got to be a block, and it is. And Hundley just picked up another one. That's a couple in a row here for Dawson. That's his fourth. Four on the Bruins. And a substitution here as they bring Elam back into the contest, number one. Arnold left open on the baseline, can't find the range. Miller can get the rebound, puts it back up and in. Nick Miller with a good put back, give him a dozen. 57-70, South Adams within 13, 609. Miller still perfect from the field tonight. Five of five, two of two from the stripe. South Adams has gone to a little bit more of a man defense here. Not exactly, but... They're doing a lot better matching up here at the early going. That's got to be it is. Yeah. Traveling violation whistled against Scott Winger. And for the first time, you see uh, the Bruins a little hesitant there with the switch defensively. It looked like maybe a 1-2-2 one, two, two zone potentially there out of the South Adams Starfires. But again, you saw us, the Bruins not quite ready for that one. Gilbert fires it down. Miller waits for him to fly by, and he finishes. Give Nick Miller 14 on the night. 11 points lead. Timeout Blackford. Starfire's hanging around. Full timeout. We'll be back right after this. When it's time to get to work, no one gets you better prepared than Workwear Express. Purchase quality work attire from brands like Carhartt, Byrne, Eddie Bauer, and Dickies. For your feet, get outfitted in soft toe or safety toe shoes for men and women by Cat, Georgia, Muck, Rocky, Skechers, and Wolverine. We have a wide array of gloves, socks, and belts to complete your look. For you hunters, check out all the camo options in pants, shirts, jackets, and bibs. They even have medical scrubs and supplies for doctors and nurses. Give us a call at 728-4111 or stop by and see us at 1480 Morningstar Boulevard in Decatur. When you order an East of Chicago pizza, you get a pizza done right. A delicious East of Chicago pizza is created with dough made fresh every morning. Your choice of thin or specialty crust, a savory blend of cheeses, and the tastiest toppings. For a limited time, you can enjoy a delicious large two-topping pizza from East of Chicago for just $9.99. Available in Burn for a limited time. The next time you order pizza in Burn, remember, East of Chicago is pizza done right. 5.36 left in the contest. We're on the Workwear Clothing Express fourth quarter. South Adams has trimmed the lead to 11. Elam with a basketball. And they're going to be a little bit more deliberate with their possessions here. Down on the baseline, right back up top. Elam wide open for three. Knocks down yet another one. Cam Elam with his third three-pointer. Lead back to 14. They cannot miss from beyond the arc tonight. Shock will try a deep one. Well off the mark. And the rebound comes off to Dane Baker. Good pass down on the baseline. And a good finish right there. Give that one to Scott Winger. Winger now has six. And give the assist to Brown. 
Backdoor cut, but tipped. Quickly up to Brown. Brown taking a look. He'll try a deep three. Short on it, and he knew it. Comes off the Miller's foot, battled for, and Gilbert comes away with it, and a jump ball. So good hustle on both sides. And actually, as we mentioned on the other side, Gilbert might be a bit fortunate not getting a foul, kind of diving in on top of that, similar <laughs> to what the other side that's, did. That's not the person you want to get into a no. scrum on the, on the floor with. Full timeout taken again. We'll take another one back after this. Let's fly. You're good at trying new things. We're good at your insurance. Start with Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance and stop knocking on wood. Who are you talking to? Let us help you think about your insurance. Talk to your Adams County agents, John Carroll, Josh Foster, and Nan Neidlinger at Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance. Call 260-692-6117 or visit infarmbureau.com. Four twenty-seven left here on the Grody Chiropractic scoreboard. It is a 59 Starfire tally to 75 Blackford Bruin tally. 16-point lead for Blackford. Simply unconscious from beyond the arc. Grimes drives the baseline. Gets it back, feeds it inside. Brown taking a look. <laughs> and he'll go to the line to shoot an extra as he comes through with the and one. I got to think uh, Nick would like to have that one back. You know, if you're going to foul the guy, you want to give him one to remember a little bit more than that. Just barely got him with a little bit of body there. Not able to disrupt the shot too much. First foul on Miller. Sec or excuse me, fifth on the team as Brown knocks down the free throw as well. So Brown now with a dozen. Remember, that's a guy averaging 32 points a game, held to only 12 points tonight. South Adams, I don't know if that's a moral victory or not. Warner knocks down his second three-pointer, and it's only the second three-pointer of the night for the Starfires as well. Part of the reason why they're trailing 78-62 to 62 when the opposition has hit about 702 three Well, that's <laughs> hyperbole, but slightly. <laughs> Slight exaggeration there. 13 for the Bruins. And like you said, only two for South Adams tonight. Not a whole lot more you can say. That's been the difference in the ball game. Not a real wise pass there going full court. Uh, yeah, you just – I understand the sentiment, but you need possessions desperately, and to throw one away oh, like yeah. that is very tough with only three and a half minutes left, 78 to 62. The value of the pumpkin becomes uh, much, much greater. Borderline exponentially greater here. Double team picked off. Arnold comes away with it. And he'll sidestep and finish. Good finish there by James Arnold. Give James 20 on the night. Jump pass to Brown. Right back to Baker. Blackford going to take the air out of the basketball a little bit here. Try to drain a little bit of time off that clock. Play a little keep away. Three from the corner. No good. Tipped away by Shock right to the goal, right to Grimes, and he knocks down yet another one. Grimes with 19. And Grimes nearly had that one stolen away, and they're going to say Arnold was the last one to touch it, and he's not arguing. 80-64 to in favor of the Bruins. Shock. Tips it away. Rebound, or excuse me, the 
Pass comes off to Brown. Brown, what a pass. There it is. Swatted away by Warner. That's about as good a defense as you can play. And the biggest tip right here, and I was waiting for somebody to do this, that's the best block of the season. That hand did not come down at all, Phil. Right. That hand stand, stands straight up, and you talk about textbook, how you don't get a foul. What a pass right there. <laughs> Count the basket. Brown had that in his hand about three-quarters of a second. Couldn't get that down to Elam any quicker than that. Great vision, ability to see the floor. I don't think he ever looked Unbelievable. at the intended target. He just saw him out of the corner of his eye and immediately, without hesitation, got the ball in a beautiful position for Elam to go up with it. Knew exactly where he was going to go with that, and Elam knocks down the extra one as well. 83-64, 2.03 left. And that's blocked away there by... And now Shock and Baker going a little bit toe-to-toe uh, -to -toe there. Elam with the bucket. They might want to pull one of those guys out. It's, it's not exactly uh, pleasant out there on the floor with either one. Shock will drive the baseline. And he'll go to the line to shoot two. Well, there you see what Trey does so well. It, it, one of the hardest guys, I would say, in the ACAC to keep in front of you. He'll break you down uh, defensively, and, and he can get to the rim so well. Would love to see Trey Shock shoot more than two free throws tonight. This is just his third attempt on the evening. Luke Brown commits the foul as Shock makes the front end. And Baker will go to the sideline. He'll be replaced by Scott Winger. And the free throw is good. Three of four tonight for Trey from the stripe. Wholesale substitutions coming here for the Starfires. Pass inside to Elam. Elam, little fade away, and he got it. Down on the baseline. Elam with 16 points. If things hold up, this would make uh, Luke Brown the fifth leading scorer on his team. I think you got to be able to count on one, one finger how many times that's happened in his high school career. Arnold makes the bucket, and that's going to be it for the Starfire regulars as a new group of five will come in, and I think Blackford is going to respond in kind. And Luke Brown congratulating his teammates, doing a nice job with it. Deservedly so. Yeah, and that is merely a substitution timeout not going to take any more time a minute left here for the Starfires you've got uh, let's start with Jordan Henshaw Brett Swartz Colby Bullock Tim Davidson and Adam Besser and we're not going to get wholesale substitutions we're going to get a few uh, we've got uh, Jared Jared Kirshner into the lineup. He wears number 15. And also the freshman down in the corner. He'll fire up a three, and it's short. Bullock with the rebound. Well, that'll put a little dent in their three-point percentage this evening. Not much else would it was going to. Besser knocks down the three. Adam Besser drains the deep one. A little instant offense off the bench for the Starfires. And I believe we got a timeout substitution as uh, Grimes will come out. And they will bring in uh, number 23, Vince Oxley. Brown down in the corner. Three from there. That's a long shot. Henshaw with the rebound. Davidson with the basketball. Back to Henshaw. Henshaw to Davidson. Thought about it. Fires it across the way. Besser for three again. That's no good. Brown with the rebound. Ten seconds left in the contest. 87-71 is the score right now, and Brown will dribble the ball into the floor, and that's going to do it. The Bruins are your winners tonight here. 87-71 over the Starfires.
As we wrap up the Workwear Clothing Express fourth quarter, Workwear Clothing Express in Decatur, Indiana is the premier work clothing store serving Adams, Wells, J. Allen, and Van Wert counties since the year 2000. Come and check our inventory at 1480 Morningstar Boulevard in Decatur or call 728-4111. Back with more right after this on Witness Media. At Burnhouse Furniture, all of our furniture is made in North America. Upholstered, bedroom, dining, home entertainment, office, and occasional furniture, Burnhouse has it all. All wood items are handcrafted hardwoods in oak, cherry, hickory, walnut, and quarter sawn white oak with your choice of stain color. Upholstered pieces can be customized with different fabrics and tailoring, and free delivery is available within 75 miles on purchases over $500. Check out BurnHouseFurniture.com or visit this family-owned business on US 27 North in Burn. Imagine seeing your team's big game or favorite movie in your own home theater. Innovative Concepts will design and build your home theater. Choose from 4K TVs from Sony, LG, or Samsung. Right now, all home theater speakers are on sale. Vinyl is making a comeback. Innovative Concepts has a great selection of turntables. For the gamer in your home, experience the competitive edge of a custom-built gaming computer. Come to Innovative Concepts Audio and Video, your complete solution for audio, video, security, and networking. Okay, want to go ahead and read those for me? All right, uh, Q, T, P. All right, go ahead and read those letters for me. Okay, T. Okay, Mr. Official, I need you to read the chart. C, V, O, N, S. Go ahead and read those, Mr. Official. C, V, O, N, S. At Layman and Bixler, we'll do our part. You do your part. So root for your team. And, and be a good sport. sport. With a combined 100 years of experience, Luganville Excavating is ready to meet all of your excavating needs. They can do all of the demolition necessary to get you ready for your new project. From driveways, parking lots, and barn pads to ponds, basements, and septic systems, Luganville Excavating can help make your dream project a reality. Call Brent Luganville at 849-0251 for a free estimate today. Steve Rich has been serving all of Adams County as a good neighbor State Farm agent from his office in Decatur since 1980. For all of your auto, home, life, and business insurance, Steve can show you what being a good neighbor is all about. Call or text Steve at 728-2933 or stop by his office at 230 South 2nd Street in Decatur from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday. He can even meet you in the evening or on Saturday by appointment. All your insurance needs under one roof. To combine and save, talk with State Farm Agent Steve Rich. Hi, Tom. Hey, how's the college visit? You remembered. It's good. Does it make the short list? Yeah, I'm afraid so. Knowing our clients personally is what we do. It's okay. This is what we've been planning for. And with over 13,000 financial advisors, we do it a lot. It's why Edward Jones is the big company that doesn't act that way. Contact Chris Colbert or Brad Martz, your local Edward Jones financial advisors in Decatur, Indiana. Service the way it was is the way it is at Briggs Hardware. Be treated like family when you stop in for your hardware needs. For all jobs, large and small, let Marvin Swartz and his friendly staff show you why Briggs Hardware has been in business since 1882. Step back in time to take care of your hardware needs of today. From tools and painting supplies to housewares and garden supplies, Briggs Hardware is here to meet your needs at 340 East Line Street in downtown Geneva. There are many questions you may have concerning funeral pre-planning. Hi, this is Jeff McIntosh, pre-planning counselor at Haggard, Sefton, and Hershey Funeral Home. We would love to discuss the many options that are available to you. Pat Sefton, Ryan Hershey, Eric Self, Robin Gerber, and myself, thank you for your past trust, and we pledge the same continued service you've come to expect. Call or stop in at 225 West Adams Street, Indicator. Hi, this is Pat Sefton. Be assured we at Haggard, Sefton, and Hershey Funeral Home are here to serve you.
M&M Market on the north side of Geneva has established a sterling reputation for the food they provide. Over 150 flavors of bratwurst, a wide selection of marinated chicken and pork chops, meat and cheese trays, and a 40-foot meat and deli case full of fresh cut meats, cut daily. Come and schedule a special event meal for any budget on your next visit. Be sure to check our Facebook page for store hours and in-store specials. Welcome in on this Wick and Jan Funeral Home post-game shows. Wick and Jan Funeral Home has been serving Adams and Allen counties by celebrating and honoring lives since 1899. At three locations in Decatur, Burnham, and Roeville, Wick and Jan is continuing to build a great reputation, not resting on one. Joined now by the head coach of the South Adams Starfires, Coach Josh Hendrickson. Coach, uh, you talk about a fast, frenetic, uh, high-speed game all night long. It never seemed to slow down until maybe the last minute or two of the fourth quarter. Uh, I thought your guys kept up with the pace of the game very well, but it's hard to keep up with a team that knocks down 13 threes in the ball game. And uh, you did a nice job of controlling uh, Luke Brown tonight, uh, holding him to 12 points. I don't know how many times in his career he has been the fifth leading scorer on his team, but, boy, everybody else on the Blackford team, just if they had an opening behind the three-point line, they seemed to knock them all down. Just a tough way to tough way to go tonight uh, when you shut down the one you need to and everybody else goes off for them. Yeah, um, you know, and I stand by what our scouting report said and the, um, you know, the strategy that we came into the nice game with. You say 12 points, you know, in the first half, he um, he got one basket on a breakaway That's layup right. that his teammate got, and the other one he got when um, – his teammate knocked Miller, Nick Miller to the ground, and then he picked it up and laid it in. So anything out of their offense, anything in the half court, he got absolutely nothing That's right. in that first half. That's right. Um, the guys that did, um, they're on the scouting report that they were capable shooters. Um, I, You know, we didn't have them written down as Seth Curry and Clay Thompson or anything like that. <laughs> yeah, but, um, that's right. That's right. They, they sure looked like it tonight. I mean, I, you know – you know, I, I just tip, tip my hat. You hear people talk a lot, and it is cliche. Um, but this game here, I think, fits the cliche perfectly that um, at the end of the day, basketball is a make-or-miss game. That's right. And um, they made 13 threes, and we made three threes. Um, That's right. I don't know if we can boil it down any simpler tonight than that. No question. I mean, we're talking about a difference of 30 points just from three-pointers. I right. mean, it's not going to be – uh, too tough to figure that out. And I thought uh, interior-wise, this is the best that we have seen uh, a, a collection of people play in a while. I thought Nick Miller was outstanding inside tonight. I thought James Arnold, even though he started out a little shaky, missed a few buckets inside, never relented, kept going after it. I thought Aiden Wander did a nice job of pounding inside. Uh, overall, this is one of those games, and we talked about it uh in the pregame, the, the the feeling of a difference between uh, getting beat and losing a game. I don't think your guys got beat tonight. They lost the game tonight, but when you get beat, that effort level may be uh, not quite as high or maybe there just doesn't seem to be as much uh, vigor in, in your side. I, I saw nothing but guys just leaving it out there tonight, and it was on both sides. It just uh, I thought it was a great recoup. And I know you'd like to win this game tonight, quite obviously, but I thought it was a great recoup from those the two losses prior. I really thought, you know what, we're coming out here, we're getting it done. And, Coach, you touched on it to begin with. The, the, the job they did defensively against Luke Brown, particularly in that first half, just outstanding. Yeah, you know, and I, I talked to him at the end of the game, and, I, you know, I said there, there wasn't anything that I could even question about, um, you know, their effort tonight, um, their intensity tonight their ability um, to follow a game plan and then their willingness to follow a game plan. You know, everything was um, everything um, was followed to a T. They just made plays. I, like like you said, I don't I don't feel like um, we were beat tonight. Right. I feel like we, we lost a basketball game. Um, I think there's many basketball games um, that we will win if we um, play with that kind of effort. Oh, no play question. That kind of intensity. We have no that kind question. of focus. But, um, you know, tonight's just – it's not one of those games. Basket, basketball is a funny deal and where you see it every night in the NBA. You see it out every weekend in college basketball. 
Um, you know, that's what makes the NCAA tournament so exciting. Anybody can win on that's a good right. night. I mean, those shots go in. The um, Making threes especially is a big equalizer. No question. And, um, no question. Hide a multitude of sins. And they, um, you know, they made, like I said, they, they made ten more threes than we did. Well, Coach, you get an opportunity to get right back at it tomorrow night with Bluffton coming in. Um, obviously, the only exposure that South Adams and Bluffton have had is in the championship game of the ACAC tournament. That seems like an eternity ago now. Uh, tell us a little bit about what you expect from Bluffton as we shift gears into the very near future. What do you expect out of Bluffton? Are there going to be any changes that you anticipate? Uh, what do you see from the Tigers? Well, I mean, it's, you know, the same thing as a – a month and a half ago, whatever it was, now they run their offense through Hayden Nern. You mm -hmm. know, he's a nice player. He um, he can take you inside. He can knock down some threes on the outside um, for you. They've got, um, you know, Will Ball down low, who's um, physical, a big kid. Then they've got some guards who can um, take care of the basketball and play their role um, pretty well. So, you know, we got to be um, ready to go, and I'm sure they will um, be ready to come and play us after, you know, the way the um, championship game ended for them. So. Well, Coach, thanks for coming up and talking with us. We look forward to the uh, ball game tomorrow night, and best of luck against the Tigers. Thank you, Seth. Appreciate you bet. Coach Josh Henderson of the South Adams Starfires. We're going to take another quick break as we continue on the Zwick and Jan Funeral Home post-game show. Zwick and Jan Funeral Home has been serving Adams and Allen counties by celebrating and honoring lives since 1899. At three locations in Decatur, Burnham, and Roville, Zwick and Jan is continuing to build a great reputation, not resting on one. We'll be back with the conclusion of the broadcast right after this on Witness Media. Grody Chiropractic is here to help you on your path to wellness. Dr. Carla Grody practices traditional, hands-on adjusting, as well as using tools such as a TENS unit or an activator for gentler adjustments. Certified exercise rehabilitation specialists can help resolve acute or chronic issues through exercise and nutritional guidance or schedule a session with one of the massage therapists. The friendly staff at Grody Chiropractic are here to answer your questions and schedule your appointment. At DeVos, Baker, Ainsworth & Razzo, our name represents the present and future of our office while honoring the legacy and dedication to clients displayed by our founding member and generations of DeVos attorneys that followed. Whether your need is business related, real estate, family law, estate planning, personal injury, or a criminal matter, call Tim Baker, Scott Ainsworth, Luke Ainsworth, Ann Razzo, or Fred Sugar to experience dedicated and knowledgeable service in meeting your legal needs. In a world worried about the next post, next purchase, next minute, what if we focus on the important? over the fleeting. Invest in what lasts. With Everance, grow a fresh outlook to your financial future with financial services rooted in enduring values. Faith and purpose. Community and love. Sharing and giving. Join Everance and make an impact. Your home is typically your biggest investment. So when it's time to buy that first home, step up to a bigger home with your growing family, or build that dream home you've been saving for, trust the professionals at Century 21 Advance. Century 21 agents are the highest trained, most professional agents in the business that take your home very seriously. So call any of our agents today to get the real numbers on what your home is worth in today's active real estate market. We put the hustle in real estate, serving Adams and surrounding counties for more than 30 years. Back here for the final time tonight, as we wrap things up, we've got statistical analysis and data for you here. As we come to a close, here is how they scored it. We'll start first with the Blackbird Bruins, as uh, they knocked down 87 points tonight on 13 made three-pointers this evening. Leading the way is a pair of Bruins, both Landon Grimes and Dawson Hundley with 19 points apiece. Cam Elam pitched in with 16, Dane Baker with 15, Luke Brown, uh, the fifth leading scorer in the state, was also the fifth leading scorer yeah. in this game as he put in a dozen tonight. Scott Winger contributed with six as well to finish off the 87 points for the Blackford Bruins. For the South Adams Starfires, 
They are led tonight by James Arnold. He knocks down 22 points. Aiden Wanner right there next to him with 19. Nick Miller puts in 14. Trey Schock with 9. It was Adam Besser with a late 3. And Braden Gilbert and Drew Stutzman both with 2 points apiece. Phil, just, uh, just too much 3-point success. Too much uh, good ball movement, uh, just too many, too much Bruins tonight, and uh, South Adams uh, just couldn't keep up with a three-point barrage, the 13 threes from Blackford. Well, you know what? Uh, one of the things that I always say out of uh, great teams, uh, you take a look at the NBA Finals and the teams that typically win the championships, and, and what you typically have there is great ball movement. And uh, the Blackford Bruins were able to do that uh, phenomenally tonight. And it wasn't just the Luke Brown show. As you mentioned, the, only the fifth leading score for Blackford tonight. It was the supporting cast that was able to step up. And the way they were able to move the ball was able to consistently get them good looks. A team uh, – and it uh, – you got to give a lot of credit to Luke Brown. Uh, they're they're a selfless team. It's not just the Luke Brown show this year, and and I think uh, that bodes well for them to make a little bit of a playoff run, which of course uh, is important for those uh, keeping keeping apprised of Luke Brown and his pursuit of the the record book this year. Uh, he still does have a shot. He could uh, he could he could very easily with a deep run get all the way up to that two spot. He'd really have to explode. I guess uh, if South Adams does have a moral victory, it's that they did only hold him to 12, and, and maybe they, they prevent him from ascending up upon that record book, as, as meteoric as he's been doing so throughout his career. Well, that's going to be uh, a tough tough row to hoe for uh, Luke Brown to be able to ascend to that height. We certainly wish him the best of luck. The young man is an absolute dynamo with the basketball. Uh, I think his best passing uh, display happened to be that one. Uh, he got a, a pass from the left corner, had the ball in his hands for a fraction of a second, fired it off down onto the baseline, and uh, Cam Elam had one of the easiest buckets he had all night with an easy one there. Uh, he's on display. He's on a full ride. He's going to be heading to Stetson down in Florida. Um, <laughs> life, life could be worse, couldn't it? I think so, yeah. Stetson. Just, that sounds just, like an all right place to go. Just, and, Play a little ball. And yeah. Tough. Tough mm-hmm. weather down there. <laughs> He'll struggle, I'm sure, to deal with that. Well, that's going to uh, wrap us up outside of the Bird Witness Player of the Game. Sponsored by FNM's Investments, Raymond James. For investments, finances, retirement planning, call Jamie or Andrea at 368-9939 to set up an appointment at FNM Investments, Raymond James. And our Player of the Game tonight is Nick Miller. Young man did a great job on the interior and did not miss a shot from the field tonight. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. I have that as well. Perfect six of six from uh, from the floor. Two of two from the charity stripe. Nick Miller finishes with 14 points, eight rebounds tonight. Just a heck of an efficient ball game. And, and keeping South Adams competitive throughout, it seemed like, uh, you know, it, it just it was a gradual fade, a, a slow fade, a, a gradual pulling away by the Blackford Bruins uh, as they just continued to here and there chip away, build upon that lead. And uh, But Nick Miller, for his part, did a good job of keeping South Adams competitive with a highly efficient shooting night. Before we sign off tonight, we'll let you know that it is a final. Dwanger came back and beat uh, Belmont tonight, a 38-32 to final. You talk about a... Vastly different game there. 38-32, to 32, Bishop Dwinger, your winner. As uh, tonight, Blackford, your winner in the Stardome, 87-71. We'll be right back on the air tomorrow as the Bluffton Tigers will pay a visit to the Stardome. For Gary Hendershot up on the camera tonight, for Amanda Arnold, our producer, and for my man, Phil Provost, I'm Seth Sprunger. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you all back in the Stardome tomorrow right here on Witness Media.